two Battleborn 12 volt lithium batteries in my travel trailer. And I'll put a link in the description below to that video so you can see the installation on that. So now I'm going to be installing the Smart Shunt. It's a Bluetooth uh, made by Victron. So I'll be able to monitor my batteries, my input and output power on it. Uh, the amp hours, it'll tell me how many amp hours I have left in the battery and a few other things. So I'll go over that with you in the end. And um, so I've got this, I purchased this on Amazon and it came with uh, these wires too. And then um, I purchased these for my um, two out wire that I have. Um, and then I have my neighbor let me borrow his uh, hydraulic crimper. I usually solder my joints, but this time I'm gonna try the hydraulic crimper. So you can see how I solder my um, electrical connections together with this um, in my last video of my battery install. So I'm gonna give this a shot and try it out. So um, they're relatively easy to install. You just connect it directly to the negative side of the battery and then you connect out to your, uh, your loads on this side of this um, shunt. So you don't put any of your loads on this side of the shunt. So it's straight from the battery to the shunt and then out to the loads and then um, the positive side to the shunt, you'll attach one of these wires here. So it's relatively easy. So let's go around to the trailer and I'll show you where it's gonna go, hopefully. Here's my battery box. I'm gonna put a link to the box to purchase one of these in the description below. It's pretty tight in here. I kind of added things over time and it's kind of become a cluster of wires. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the batteries out. I'm gonna probably mount the shunt here. I'm gonna to to cut this insulation back that I put in. Um, and uh, then these wire junction blocks I'm going to try and put in. I have one positive, one negative. I might put just the negative down here and not use the positive one. We'll see. Um, but the best thing to do is get the batteries out of here and then see what I got and try and clean this up. So I'll come back to you after I remove the batteries. I've got the batteries out and now I just have to change all this wiring and put in the uh, shunt. So I think I'm gonna put the shunt right here and I'm gonna fix all this wiring up, so. I've got everything cleaned up a little bit. My smart shunt's right here, installed on the side. My distribution blocks are installed here, so I've got this cleaned up. You remember what it looked like before. And then I got my insulation here. I take and cut it out to go around everything. I'm gonna slide it in place right now. I've got the insulation back in place. So my next project here is to hook from the negative here to the system, which is down here, negative. So I'm gonna run it from here up to here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up my um, cable for that, my two-aught cable. So I have my wire cut, and you can see right here, I have one end on there, on the wire and it's just sitting on the junction block there. And then I ran it up here, I stripped the wire right here and just slid it inside of this uh, terminal end here. So I just lined it up and since this wire isn't very flexible, what I did was I just slid the wire inside there, put a piece of blue tape and you can see a mark. I marked it so that it'll be right uh, when I put it together and crimp it, it's going to be nice and tight, and then this will be uh, straight here. So it'll be nice and tight there rather than turn and then angle me fighting to try and put it on. So I'm going to go ahead and crimp it. Back at the workbench, here's my neighbor's hydraulic crimping tool that he let me borrow. 
And then here is the piece we're gonna crimp in place. You can see where I lined it up, like I just showed you. Here's the tool itself. So you can turn it on and off so it'll crimp. And then here are the different um, tips here that you can put in for diff crimping different types of uh, wire. So he said that this is the one I would need. It's a number 70. So I'm gonna give that a try. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this for you, show you how it works. You just slide this in here and then make sure this is turned on so it'll start crimping. I'm gonna hold that in place right here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, clamp this down, see what happens. And hopefully it'll force it all tight. So that might be it, we'll see. So that feels like it's pretty tight in there. It works pretty well. It's all lined up, it's crimped tight. You can't pull it apart, which is the main thing. So I'm gonna call that good. So I'm gonna put shrink tubing on this now. Let's go ahead and put this uh, heat drink tubing on here. Just cut to length, slide it over there. And then I have this rundomatic torch, which I'm going to light off. And then I'll use that to um, heat this up. So I just keep things moving around. So I heat this evenly. You can see it shrinking up a little bit. You don't want to hold the torch in one spot or it's going to get really hot and melt on you. So the heat just makes it shrink up on there and it's nice and tight and sealed. So um, you have you won't have any water intrusion getting into the joint there to corrode things. So I'll make sure I put in the description below the products I use so that you can see. And then if you want to purchase some, um, go ahead and click the link and order them. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other end and then um, we'll go ahead and put it in. So I have the negative wire hooked up here and this goes to the system. Got it all bolted in place. Both batteries are in. I have my wires that I had before that I removed, put back on. So now I'm gonna make up this wire that goes from here to here. And I'm gonna do it similar to how I did this other one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that up. It's a short little run. I've got this little jog in here, for the two out wire. It's all bolted down tight. And then what I'm going to do here, I have to go from the positive here down to the positive bus bar there where that bolt is. So I'm going to make something up for there. Everything's back together. All the connections are tight. It's a lot cleaner than it was before. It could be better than this, but... Uh, I'm kind of limited on room in here. So now I'm just going to uh, let these batteries charge up and then we'll go from there on seeing how it works. I've had the smart shunt installed here for just over a month now. I've taken it out on several camping trips and before I put the video out I just wanted to uh, see how it was working and so I give you some feedback on it. Um, recently uh, it was my birthday, so I received a gift of, it was a temperature sensor, um, and I installed it already. 
before I had, when it came with the, the shunt, came with one wire, as you can see right here, it went from the battery up to the shunt. So now with the temperature sensor, it goes to the battery, positive to the shunt. So it's easy to, to wire up here. Just put the red to the positive and the black to the other. And to release these wires, you just take a screwdriver or something and just push down on the orange tab and pull on the wire, it comes right out. So the wire here goes right up to the battery itself and it'll give me an accurate temperature of the batteries. I have on my solar system, and you see that little square block there, that measures uh, the temperature in Celsius and sends it up to the uh, solar uh, MPPT controller and I'm able, able to see that. What I like about this one, this shunt, I could do Celsius or Fahrenheit. It's wireless. It sends it right to my phone. I'm able to monitor it that way. Tells me a lot of information. Um, I'll do a few screenshots of what I see on the screen. Um, so you take a look. And I'm. I'm going to leave. Um, links to videos that are put out by Victron and some other people on how to download the app and everything. I don't want to get into that. I just wanted to get into installing this. And also just, uh, they'll explain too how to wire this stuff up a little bit um, and how everything works. So um, I hope this video is helpful to you. Um, I really like this setup. Um, this thing tells me how many days I have left for power. If I'm using power, let's say I'm running a few things, it'll it'll monitor it and it'll say um, you have like one day and five hours or something of power left. And if I turn off some appliances and stuff, then it might switch to that I have like three or four days of power left or six days. Um, so I really like it and as it's charging it'll tell you how many amp hours um, you have left which is really nice to have so and the percentage of battery you have left so I want to say thank you for watching everybody appreciate it I hope this video was helpful in some way um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up feel free to comment or ask questions I appreciate it um, I read all the comments and I respond. And uh, just remember that I always leave links to the products I use in the description below this YouTube video. Thanks a lot. Take care. Happy camping, everybody.